The commit feature in Pro Tools 12.3 is a tremendous time saver, especially when working on sessions being shared by multiple users. Pro Tools allows you to patch in outboard signal processors like analog EQs or compressors as hardware inserts right in the mixer. In this example, we recorded a drum idea for a song we're working on using a single ribbon mic for the room. Let's take a quick listen. We ran that model room track through an outboard compressor, an empirical labs distressor, to even out the peaks and make the loop a bit more harmonically interesting. Following the hardware insert, we have some basic EQ, as well as another harmonic plugin called VSM3 from Plugin Alliance. Finally, this track contains a send feeding a reverb returned on a stereo aux right next to it using the excellent vintage verb from Valhalla DSP. Let's listen now with the processing chain in line. What I'd like to do for this example is send my rough drum idea to a friend as a rhythmic reference so he can start working on a bass part for the tune. I want to ensure that he hears it with all my processing intact, and since I know he doesn't have a distressor, I'm going to render the compression into the file. I can simply right-click on the hardware insert titled Distressor and choose Commit Up to This Insert, which will render, in this case real-time, up to and through the hardware distressor. And once it finishes, place the real-time plugins downstream on the resulting track. Before we tell it to start, we get to choose what we want to do with the source track, either hide it, make it inactive, or perhaps just leave it the way it is. In this example, I'm going to choose to hide and make inactive. Now let's start the render, which in this case is real time since we're using outboard gear. If we're only doing AAX processing, it'll accelerate based on the speed of your computer. You can see that it's also recreated the send feeding my reverb and stuck the track back in the same drum group with the same color and even copied my distressor settings from the comments field. Now, if I need to get back to the original room drum track, I can simply show and reactivate it from the tracks menu right here. Now that I've got the drum loop printed, I effectively get my distressor back to use on any other tracks in the session. I think I'd like to run the lead vocal through it to level out the track and make it a bit more present. Commit is an incredibly useful workflow feature when using outboard hardware inserts for creative processing, archival, or delivery. And it's especially useful when you're using gear that not everyone working on the project has access to.